Okay. Uh, subject line of this email. I feel dirty for having sex with my husband. That's Uh-oh. good. <laughs> Very good. Hey, fuckers. I'm feeling shameful for having kinky sex with my own husband. A little backstory. I'm 24 years old and started my sexual experiences very young. I was 14 when I lost my virginity and was very sexually explorative with a decent amount of guys up until I met my husband. I was 17. He was 19. A month later, I was pregnant and we were both married before my daughter was born. Don't all cry for me. I finished college and now... We weren't. Don't worry, we weren't. (laughs) Uh, I finished college and now have a cushy professional job, as does my husband. Dope. I lucked out and have an awesome life. Anyway, while I've had many sexual uh, adventurous experiences, my husband has only had vanilla sex with two other girls before me. Recently, we have been talking about exploring all the things he's been wanting to try. From me playing with his ass to me peeing on him. Oh, the door's closed. I, I know. I was like this. really glad your mom left the room Yeah, for me this. too. <laughs> um, from me peeing on him, uh, playing with his ass, peeing on him. It's not my thing, but I'm willing to try it for him. He also wanted to try stuff with a guy. I set up a meet and he went to get a BJ from a guy. That's so nice of you. Turns out we found something he wasn't into. LOL. <laughs> oh, no. Um, the newest adventure is looking for a threesome with another guy, a gangbang for me, or a couple swap. I'm really into talking about it and looking for people to meet up with. We have had a lot of good sex while fantasizing about it. Oh, I know. isn't that fun? You just got to talk about it. It makes everything magical. My issue is that every morning after our exploring, I feel shameful. I don't understand why. I really enjoy what we're doing. He has never pushed me to do anything and has been respect- respectful of all my boundaries, but I can't shake feeling dirty. Maybe it's because I'm the professional suburban mom, president of the PTA, two kids and a white picket fence. Women like me don't do things like this. I roll. Uh, I want to keep getting kinky with my husband, but I can't shake this feeling. Help. Hmm. Uh, gosh. You didn't mention religion in those things. So I was like, maybe it was religion. But it seems like you were kinky and stuff all along. And now that your husband's on board, you're like, wait, I feel bad. But uh, maybe you maybe feel bad is part of the fun. As long as it doesn't make you, I mean, to an extent. Because I remember, like, I'll never forget that freaking, when we interviewed Dan Savage, that advice he gave me when I would kept seeing that one guy for five years. And I kept going back to him and I hated myself for it. Mm-hmm. And he was o- the older guy. And Dan was like, yeah, but maybe that's part of why you liked it. And I was like, oh shit. And he kind of like made me turn that guilt into like part of the reason why it was fun. And he was right. I mean, that instance, he was right. Um, it could also be because maybe she feels like she's like I- introducing her husband to all of this. Right. And she's seeing him go from she's vanilla like, to kinky. Like, or like, yeah. And she, in a way she feels like she's taking away like the, the vanilla and tarnishing him a little bit. You can feel like that. I can certainly understand feeling like that being like, Oh, I had this, like I had this, this guy was so sweet and so naive. And now I'm kind of like making him into this like sexual, like bad boy, Yeah, which that's so exciting that you're seeing someone blossom sexually and doing things. But you can that, feel guilt about it. I can understand yeah. being guilt and shame about it. Have too. you ever felt guilty about that? Uh, no, because I've never been the, I've never been, yeah, I've never been the, the more one. experienced one. So yeah, I, re- I mean, I, and if I am, I, I've never been anyone who with anyone who was just like tame. So right. even if I was like a little more sexual, it wasn't enough that I would feel that like the, the discrepancy between us. Right. Right. Um, but you know, I, I think shake that feeling because it seems like your husband is enjoying it. And if you're unsure, you seem pretty sure that he's having fun, maybe ask him just to get some peace of mind. But it's really cool how open he is. Cause he's like, I think I want to BJ from a dude. Ah, never mind. I didn't like that. Like, but you trial and error such as everything. And it's really cool how open and ex- explorative you guys are. And I really, the relationship sounds really fun. And the whole PTA mom, pre- president of the PTA, mom of two kids, white picket fence. That's so fun that you get to have this other side of yourself that you can explore with a partner that you love. It's very girlfriend's guide to divorce. <laughs> you do love that I show. I do I love that show. that show. Um, but I think the thing is with the shame, no matter where it's coming from, you just got to always remember shame is learned. It's learned from somewhere, yeah. whether it be religion, whether it be something your parents said to you, whether it be, you know, is the media or how women are portrayed or how, how women are expected to act. But on the flip side, shame can be unlearned. So just know and remind yourself that nothing you're doing is bad. In fact, it's good because it's helping you to evolve sexually. It's bringing you pleasure. It's not hurting anybody else. I mean, it seems like you have a really healthy sex life. Yeah. A very healthy sex life. 
And, you know, and just uh, let your freak flag fly. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> Um, all right. So real quick, we want to talk about uh, birth control because obviously everyone's everyone uh, everyone's scared. Everyone's going into panic mode. I understand them IUDs. You don't need to go into panic mode, though. I think panic mode is actually the least productive thing we can do. We need to go into let's fucking prepare Take mode. Take action. 